Okay, so it wasn't recording. I was doing Pisces, okay? Um, what a good reading you guys had. So let me start over, okay? So welcome, 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 welcome. This is going to be for my Pisces. It's going to be December 3rd through the 17th, okay? Um, <clears throat> let uh -huh. me explain to you this is such a good reading so i don't want to necessarily redo it okay um <clears throat> you have the eight of wands the wheel and the six of wands all the fire okay six seven eight two so moving on up all right so big changes it's like you're gonna get a message you're unsure of it you gotta be big and brave to move forward but you're like eh, you, you know but it's it's gonna be okay all right so when I was clarifying the eight of wands the wheel so let's start with the eight of wands the weight is over it could be with a, a, a Scorpio, I don't know, but the weight, the weight is over, okay? There's change, but somebody had to go through a transformation. Someone's still holding on to the past, not moving forward, or not knowing how to communicate, not knowing where to invest their time. With the Six of Wands, you got to use your intuition because we got the new stat with the High Priestess, right? And then in this group over here with the Seven of Wands, <clears throat> we got the Seven of Cups and the Seven of Wands again with a message, with the truth, communication, being big and brave. I said you might want to watch Leo because they had the Ace of Pence in the same spot with all those sevens, which I think is linked to cancer. So what I'm going to do is start over, but I wanted you to be aware of that, okay? So the wait is over for some of you regarding something to get on your path, your journey, but it's, it's going to be good. But you're going to question whether or not you want to take it. It's like a risk, leap of faith, okay? So that was like 15 minutes worth of work. I really got into it for you guys. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. So Pisces, next couple weeks, December 2019, that flew out. So now we got confusion. I was just kind of feeling that. Because you're just going to be like, ah, ah. you're going to be like, I don't know. You know, um, you got the three of wands, patience, but it was reversed too. Okay. And you got temperance all in moderation. I did mention you might have a drinker on the board, but I said somebody might message you why they're drinking because they feel big and brave, but that was for some of you. And then you got the seven of swords. So you still ended up with a seven. Okay. Three of Cups. Three of Cups, you had that too. So, my little Pisces. I gotta get the other message out of my head. Because I don't know what's gonna transpire in this one. But, um... <clears throat> you need to make a decision. I feel like you're being extremely patient. Someone's third eye is opening. Someone's getting a lot of headaches. You've learned a lesson. Tell me about Two of Swords, the confusion, Pisces. <clears throat> got the tower. And it's reverse. So it's almost like you're avoiding someone. You're avoiding, you could be t avoiding talking to someone, sending a message. Oh, that's not reversed. I thought it was. It's upright. So your first card out in the other read, which I'm trying to not pull into this read, which they're pulling me into it, it's, it's like where I was like, oh, the wait is over, right? So like that's random. It, not random. It's... it's um freaking word they want me to use not drastic it, it can be um just to get to where it's just it's gonna get you where you need to be 
It's going to be shocking. Tell me about the tower. I'll put it that way. And you're going to be confused. You're going to be like, what the actual, like, huh? <laughs> Look what just came out. Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups. See what I'm saying? It's, the wait is over. I don't know what you guys were going through, but it, it's going to be out of nowhere and it's going to be shocking. So basically the same message, and it's Scorpio too, but it can be any sign, but basically the same message as the previous one just being told a different way. Because the Three of Wands was reversed in the previous one saying that the wait was over with the eight of messages. So if you've been waiting on some of the text, you call you, email you, the wait's over and it's definitely regarding love. Tell me about the Three of Wands. Yep, very direct messaging okay tell me about the knight of wands i mean the knight of swords no bullshit straight to the point clear communication um you might want to be patient with this person when moving forward you might be dealing with a fire sign or an air sign or a cancer um i really feel like you guys are at a distance from each other and that might end you guys will figure it out have patience on yourself and also have patience with them. And it's ironic because in the other read, <clears throat> Seven of Pens was there. <clears throat> Could be down with the Leo. Holy shit, you're not talking to this person. <clears throat> not yet anyway. Um, For some of you. I was saying, I was picking up on somebody else's energy. You're both within the same energy. You both want this to come together. And it's just universal. It's, you know what I mean? You're both taking it. Tell me about temperance. To me, this is like a, a reconciliation too. But it's, this one speaks all of moderation. And the way they're looking at each other, I'm kind of questioning that energy. Some of you might have be dealing with a drinker, but it wouldn't be anything that I see that you would need to be worried about. See, they had that energy too. You could be dealing with a Sag that's, that's really hurt right now from the past. I don't know if it's a third party, what happened, because you got another three right here again. You could, again, you could be dealing with a Leo, Sag, Magician. Um, <clears throat> that was at the bottom of the deck though. That that was in your other energy too. Somebody's holding on to, to pain. It's like you got to let it go. You can't have a clean slate and hold on to anything. You can't hold grudges. You can't have doubt. Tell me about the Five of Cups. And, and the other Five of Cups on another read was sitting on top of a Sag energy. Could have even been Leo. I think it was Leo. And it just stressed Leo. So there could be a lover here. Different people, but... It's, it's almost like someone caused someone so much pain in the past that someone's still struggling. I think that's why you need to have patience with somebody. Or somebody is about to quit drinking and, and was an alcoholic and is going through rehab or, or not drinking as much, detoxifying. I don't see addictions, codependencies. I don't see anything like that yet. But <clears throat> maybe when somebody drinks, it's it just brings up way too much past pain. You know, it really just depends on what you're drinking. Like with me, it depends on what I drink, who I'm hanging out with. If the past comes up or I'm just having fun. Normally when I drink, I'm out to have fun and a good time. When somebody drinks here on the board, it's bringing them into like a self-isolation type thing. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. It's like, but there's something to be learned here. So patience is, is key with this connection. Judgment, yeah, somebody wants a second chance. So somebody hurt someone. There was definitely lovers. There was probably a wife. Could have been a Libra in a Taurus energy. There was definitely, there was a third party for sure. I think it's definitely over though. Somebody wants a second chance with someone that was your lover. So if you were waiting on a lover, the wait is over. 
But this is just, I don't like this. Tell me about that Five of Cups. Justice. Somebody might have to leave a marriage and it's it needs to be done delicately and the right way. Or somebody has to make a decision between a Libra, Gemini. That's cancer. That's cancer. We got air here too. You know, so it looks like somebody had to, someone gets hurt in the process of something. And I just looked down, it was 1033. You might want to Google that. Well, I might as well. I'm right here. Because it has to do with this. 1033. Spiritual enlightenment, confidence, hope, reassurance of grace and guidance will be achieved. Yeah, somebody's definitely getting hurt in the process. But it's encouraging you to move forward. You're supported. Live your life with joy, passion, purpose. It's a message to let go of your fears, doubts, your worries. So it's almost like if it's not a third party for some of you, it's just somebody having a really hard time releasing fear, doubt, all that stuff because of what went down in the past. So they're going to push through that. Everyone has to go through their own life experience, right, to enrich their life. So looks like a decision definitely gets made. So the hangman's here and it's, it's, it's not, it's reversed. So again, it's like the, the wait is over. Somebody changed their perspective when it comes to something. So let's see, my little Pisces. This looks good. It, it's not easy. It's not like you guys are going to get together right off the rip and it's just going to be woo. You guys are going to have to get through some stuff because you need to forgive or they need to forgive Pisces. But it looks good. It's unexpected for sure. Holy shit. Blessings. Cancer got this. Leo got this. And Taurus just got this. It was just sitting at the top of my deck and I just literally put it back in the middle and it came back out. So there is definitely a link between Cancer, Leo, Taurus, and Pisces. There's no question. Okay. Ganesh is asking you to consider exactly what you want at this time. All right. They're conspiring for you to achieve your aspirations right now. Harmony um, desires. Ganesh is bestowing blessings of luck, love, and new prospects prospects be very clear about your intentions at this time go after the desire Ganesha is here to clear the obstacles okay um and definitely withheld the temptation of in indulgence self-indulgence in case there's a little of that you are in an excited phase right you are you are about to get into an excitement of phase in your life right now this period will not last forever so make sure you take advantage of it and act upon the opportunities and they will get resolved with very triumphant triumphantly <laughs> um, I know you probably feel like it's the impossible, but these manifestations, these possible, these possibilities are endless and range from subject of matters to love, money, success, and happiness. Ganesha teaches you that your blessings are continuous and that the blessings may not seem immediately apparent, but true happiness and the trust of the happiness and the blessings are about to be showered on you. True happiness and blessings lie within you in your heart and your soul. Absolutely beautiful. That is so funny. So let's do the exterior energy. Well, what? I'm going outside to shovel out um, Brambler's truck for five bucks. Awesome. And I'm wearing this hat and that scarf. Okay. This was you guys' deck. That was at the end of it. Yeah, you could very well be down with a Leo, too. That was another Cancer card, Pisces, Scorpio. How do you All right, with so. Let me finish this video, sweetie. Just wrap it around you. So this is the energy external to you. Pisces, please. External energy to Pisces. Ten of Cups. So they're taking care of their family. Someone external to you is happy. Um... Feeling abundant. Thinking about family life. 
thinking about a new start, wanting a new start, wanting a new family life, taking a leap of faith, which makes a lot of sense here with the tower. That quick, that quick, uh, quick energy. Somebody has a lot of regret here. I keep seeing it. Should make sense. The second chances and forgiveness here. But whatever is, that's way too many. Whatever is external to you, you know, somebody, it looks like, I don't know what Lucy got, they definitely want a family life or to create a family life or, or just happiness in general with you. Um, and definitely taking a leap of faith with whatever's next for them. Okay, Princess of Pence, willing to take the time to have a new start. Or they're waiting for you, because sneakingly looking over, okay, or however this is working, but is ready for a new adventure. Work, love, money, extremely positive. I definitely recommend that you go watch Cancer, Taurus, and Leo, because... I've had this deck for a couple years now, and um, I've used them before within my reads, but I've never had it come out so simultaneously like that. Okay, and it so this would be the fourth time. It is forty four, so I, I think a lot of you are seeing fours too. But it's all about your intuition. Thank you. Died.